In other news, a local nightclub janitor, Droopy Cock, has been sentenced to eight years in prison after assaulting several police officers. You see, this is exactly the problem with today's society. We cops work hard to keep everyone safe and are treated like trash in response. Who arrested a 15-year-old just for having a drink in the street? Underage drinking is no joking matter, Carl. It was lemonade. Don't go with the big deals with underage drinking anyway. It's to keep you kids safe, honey. Exactly. Beer can be seriously damaging to you if you don't drink responsibly. Okay, eight bottles per night. Grandpa John let me try beer once and I felt fine. Wait, what? Logan, you're back! Took you long enough. We've been waiting forever. Your dinner's gone cold, you ungrateful little lass hat. So how was work, dear? Alright, yeah. Sorry for the holdup. I got a big announcement. Cool! What was it? You're finally taking singing lessons? Even better! I'm getting my own place! You are? Yeah, man. Kenny bought this apartment on Anoki Street after this guy he knew kicked the bucket, and he said it's got a spare room for me! That's wonderful, honey! Not for the dead guy. Either way, we're so proud of you! Yeah, it's about time you did something with all that wasted experience of yours. Yeah, I love you too, Dad. Can we see the place? Of course! I'll be moving in there on Tuesday. We're gonna have a big house party to celebrate. Ooh! Sounds like fun! Yeah, now you can waste your life partying under someone else's roof rather than mine for a change. Ignore him. Logan, we're proud of you. We'll sure miss having you around the house, though. I won't. That awful hip-hop music you always play drives me insane! It's cool. Thanks for everything, Linda. Always remember, you're welcome to stop by any time. Of course, I'm still gonna visit. I just need to leave the nest so I can be my own man. Don't make me laugh. Men have stable jobs, don't wear fake chains, or create lame rap music. They don't complain about the waiter putting lettuce on your burger either, yet you still call yourself a man. You wanna sleep outside tonight? his apartment on Enoki Street with his friend Kenny. Enoki Street, huh? My family actually owns that entire block! That explains why the block is home to street gangs, the unemployed, and oversized families, then. Does it have a bathroom? Where else is he gonna piss? My house is his hole in the backyard. His roommate's Kenny. I think he'll be fine. Yeah, I heard one time he walked into a McDonald's and the milkshake machine fixed itself. I thought, I thought that, that was, was just for decoration, to be honest. Hey dudes, what's up? Pretty good! Is it true that your brother's got a new place, Carl? Yeah, he said he's having a big party there, too. Awesome! Sounds like fun! Yeah, I need to blow off some steam after that two-hour science class. You spent half of it in the bathroom. But riding on the stalls is more interesting. Yeah! Are you gonna be going, Talia? <laughs> of course! And you? Assuming my dad doesn't need me to finish cleaning the pool over at the mansion, I should be free. Pools are easier to clean when they don't exist. My, my house, house has a pool, pool too. too. That flooded hole in the basement does not count as a pool. Me and Tucker are gonna have to pass on that, actually. Oh, come on. Why not? We've got nothing better to do. What about... you know... Chinese New Year? My birthday! Yeah, that's right, Blooper. We're supposed to be going to the Raging Hornet for dinner, remember? Oh, I love that place! Can we go there, Carl? Your birthday's not till July. Aw, oh, but babe, all my friends are gonna be there. Can't we just go to dinner on Saturday instead? You promised you were gonna put more effort into this relationship, remember? Ugh, alright, fine. We'll go to dinner at the stupid Hornet. <laughs> Don't worry, you're probably not missing too much. It's on a pretty small block anyway. Ugh, why? Yo, Tommy, got any leads on that case I asked you about this morning? Uh, 
what was that? Sorry, I was texting my girlfriend. Oh, for God's sake, man. Hey there, boys. How's the world treating ya? Pretty good, man. My girlfriend got me Doom Eternal on Steam for Christmas. <laughs> Your jokes always crack me up, Tommy. It wasn't a joke. Seem like you're in a chipper mood, Chief. Yeah, what happened? Did abortion get outlawed or something? Even better! My son Logan's moving out! Wait, he is? Yep. Finally, there'll be peace and quiet around the house again. Uh, I remember when I first moved out of my parents' house. Feels like forever ago now. I kicked you out. It was a mutual agreement. You hit your dad in the foot with a bill blaster. You tried to unplug my computer. It's gonna be great! I can finally take a shower without hearing awful hip-hop music coming from the other room. Huh. Glad he's finally turning his life around, man. Aren't you gonna miss him, though? Miss him? I've been waiting years for this day! I almost gave up hope when he turned 20! Boss, but wouldn't it feel weird not seeing him every day anymore? You raised a kid for years. Yeah, since his mother ran off with a scuba instructor and left me to take care of him all by myself. I know it wasn't always easy, but ain't you sad he's leaving? He does make a good point, Chief. Who else you gonna blame for not washing the dishes? It was always Carl, I guess. Nah, this is for the best. It's nothing but good news, trust me. Anyway, we gotta head out. Someone's been vandalizing walls with the letter E in a sad attempt to be funny. Alright, let's go. So, what are you gonna do with his room? Me and Linda haven't decided yet. Ooh, I've got an idea. I'm not turning it into a gaming room, Tommy. Nice new place you've got here, Logan. I know, right? It's got a bathroom and a kitchen! I feel like Elon Musk in here. My dad's actually friends with Elon Musk. He's the one who inspired him to become an entrepreneur. We even got a balcony so we can chuck balloons at joggers. Why would you do that? The balloons would just float away. Don't be stupid, Blooper. Balloons contain hydrogen. So, uh, is Dad coming? Yeah, we could use some extra muscle lift in the TV here. Sorry, he said he was busy with work. Probably busted some kid for stealing a Snickers bar. Ah, I see. Fair enough, then. Cheer up, man. You've done good for yourself. When Kelvin sees this place, he's gonna be pretty impressed. Yeah, bro. Don't let your old man ruin moving day for us. Yeah, you guys are right. This party tomorrow's gonna be amazing. It sure is. I invited some friends from school, if that's okay. Of course! The more the merrier. Will you guys shut up? We're trying to watch Teen Mom in peace! Oh. Hello, Logan. Mary Lynn? Hey, who's that cute boy? Shut up, Sherry Lynn! What are you dweebs doing in my building? <laughs> Duh! You think I called it mine for my health? Of course I live here! Sweet, me and Logan are moving in here too. You are? Nice! Go put Bob's dinner on already! Sorry about her! That's just my annoying half-sister! How old is she? I'm this close to calling the FBI on your ass! So, Logan! Now that you're living across the hall from me, Perhaps we could try to rekindle that old relationship. Nah, I'll pass on that, thanks. Oh, come on! Cooper doesn't have to know. I'm good. Urgh, fine, then! Have fun living in your trash apartment, loser! Take any turns you down, huh? Shut up, Sherry Lynn! Damn, she sure seems upset. The hell's her problem? Maybe it's that time of the month. Months don't typically last 17 years, boo. So you guys looking forward to Logan's party? Of course! Do we have to bring presents, though? Not for them, for the house. Meh, it'll be fun, I guess. Nothing can top that time I went to that party up in Beverly Hills. Maybe this can be the best real house party you've ever been to. It was real! I bumped into the Migos! They even said they were looking for a new member. Your roasting doesn't bother me. I'm the one with a girlfriend out of the two of us. I'm really good at those. I scored 15, and there were only 10 questions. Anyway, how's simping for Roxanne going? Wow, one obvious way to say, Hey, I like you. Please break up with your deadbeat boyfriend and date me instead. But when I want to buy a present for the house, I'm the bad guy. 
Oh yeah, what you get? I can't imagine what she'll think when you buy her a super thoughtful gift and Tucker gives her a water pistol. Yo, what up, losers? Hey guys, how's it going? Piss off, rat. We still ain't cool with you. Yeah, snitches get stitches, right guys? Pipe down, Flake. Get lost, Cooper. Calm down, Carl. We just wanna talk. Oh, cool. So, so are you guys, guys coming to Logan's party? party? Oh, is that not supposed to tell them? Logan's throwing a party, huh? Where's it at? Yeah, we might stop by. Your boring ass parties could always use a bit of action. None of your business. You guys aren't invited. If there's a party going on round here, we're always invited. Yeah, like my birthday party. You guys are still invited to that, by the way. Shut up, Flake! We'll be at this party, Carl. And this time, your hot mom or Logan's bum-ass father won't be there to protect your asses! Or those police dogs. I still got those teeth marks on the side of my neck. You're not invited. Ruin someone else's night instead. Let's go, guys. Shut up, Flake. We're going to this party. Screw what Carl says. Yeah! He thinks he's so tough just cause he knocked out Cooper at the dance that one time! Don't remind me. I told you not to bring that up, now he's mad at us! I didn't use it as an insult! Sup, Tucker? What's good, boys? Just cleaning my soccer gear. Wanna play a few games before science class? Not right now, man. I just had a big lunch. You're telling me? Did you have to insist on eating all that chili? That smells nasty. Hey! I paid for it! I'm not about to throw all of that money away. You could have spent it on something that smelled a little better. Anyway, you hear about that party at Logan's? I hear it's gonna be lit. Sorry boys, I can't go. Roxanne's birthday's on Friday. Oh come on man, it's Friday night. Yeah, and I got a dentist's appointment this weekend. Well that was long overdue. I'm sorry, fellas, but she's gonna kill me if I don't go to dinner with her. She's already mad about our two-year anniversary when I canceled our dinner reservations to spend the evening at Roberto's. Hey, she said she had fun! We shared a pizza and watched a darts tournament. You got excited when that guy got a bullseye. I'm sorry, guys, but I really can't go. Ugh, this sucks! Yeah, Roxanne's turned you into a simp. I'm sorry, guys, uh, we could always do something next week? Why can't you stop at Logan's party for a while, and then go get dinner with Roxanne after? You think I'd be able to get away with that? Yeah, bro. She won't even know you've been. Great idea. I probably shouldn't have too many drinks, though. She wasn't too happy when I showed up drunk to her grandpa's funeral. I phoned her at a funeral once. I guess that's another reason why everyone there was crying. Oh! Hi, Blooper. Thanks for remembering. Ah, you didn't have to get me anything, silly. You know I don't understand that techno babble blooper. Oh wow, I love it. Must have been tough getting this into school. You know how Staffordshire is about fire hazards. Thanks, blooper. I really like it. Just a new shell, some jewelry from my parents, and a fast food coupon from Tucker. I'm sure it would be if I was 12. <sighs> yeah, it's just so clear he hasn't changed. All he ever wants to do is party with his friends. It's fun from time to time, but I don't want to end up as that washed up widow after he's gotten himself into a helicopter crash. <sighs> You wouldn't understand. I've tried that so many times already. Nothing ever works with him. I want to be with a guy who's actually prepared to treat me like I exist. Yo, what's going on in here? What are you two nerds doing here? Is this the line for chess club? Get lost, you two. We're just waiting for class. Gee, you seem stressed. Your daddy not get you the exact bracelet you wanted? Piss off, Gooper! Gee, what's her problem? That wasn't my fault! I just got here! Ignore her, Gooper! She's just jealous of our relationship! 
Shut up, Blooper! She is? Who cares? She's just a spoiled brat anyways. Right, Cooper? What kind of problems is she having? Cooper! You don't really care about that slut's problems, do you? What? No, of course not. You're the only girl I care about. Oh, let's make out in Moore's classroom. It's usually free right about now. He sometimes goes in there to check his emails and sharpen his pencils. How long does that take? Knowing him, about three hours. <laughs> ah, nothing like kicking back with a nice cold beer in front of the TV after work. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey there, Calvin! What the hell are these two freaks doing here? I wanna watch the game! Calvin, these are my friends! Yeah, we were hanging out at the gym together and thought we'd all come back here for drinks! My beer?! I didn't see your name on it! Linda's been working hard cleaning the house all day. The least you can do is share your beverages with her. I've been working hard too! I had to chase this guy stealing a Snickers bar through a field today! I doubt you'd run as fast if it didn't involve Snickers. Shut up, traffic cone! Calvin, it's okay. Just join us. Thanks, honey, but I'd rather tie myself to an anvil and jump off of a cliff. I'll see if I can watch the game with Logan. Logan moved, remember? Yeah, right. About time he got a place for himself, I say. Yeah, who would have thought a boy raised by Calvin would have ever amounted to anything? Leave him alone, guys. I know you don't get along, but Calvin's a great guy and a really good father. Can't be as good as my Danny. He makes $3,000 a month. He smashes rocks for a living. It's hard work! <sighs> Pretty good turnout so far. Yeah, whenever these guys hear there's a party going on, they're like a pack of wolves. Is it okay that I invited some of my friends? Of course, sweetheart. Just none of you guys go into my bedroom, and we'll all have a great time. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Anyway, great job on the play slogan. Thanks, guys. We spent all afternoon unpacking yesterday. I think I found a severed hand in one of the boxes. I told you not to worry about that. Yeah, it looks great. I love the fridge. We'll just say you got it, Kenny. It's not important. What the hell happened to my fridge? Pretty cool place, I gotta say. Yeah, I always thought Logan would be living in Carl's basement when he was older. I, on the other hand, always believed in him. I thought you said he was a lazy bum and his music makes you sick. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, boo! I've always supported him! Sure you did, dry bones. Anyways, I'm gonna go to Kenny's room to get some air. Wanna come with? We're not supposed to go in there, apparently. <laughs> I win, I win! Ugh, god damn it! Gordy's been beating all of us at this game, and he keeps gloating about it too. Everyone sex for me! What game are you playing anyway? It's called Super Slash Bros. The point of the game is to knock each other off the stage until your opponent loses all of their lives. Don't be silly, Blooper. Video games weren't invented yet in 1996. Is this guy serious? He also thought dinosaurs were around in the 1950s. Let me have a go. I'll be Gordy. Be careful, man. He's really tough. Please, I'm way better at video games than him. I unlock Luigi in Super Mario 64. He is too! You just have to run around the statue 2,000 times! That's one way to waste your time. Alright then, good luck. Hey, Gordy, Drybones wants to play you. <laughs> Get ready to lose, asshole! Alright, guys, I made it. About time. I was afraid you pussied out and went on that boring date with Roxanne. I'm not stopping for long. What time is it? It's just 6.30. You got plenty of time. Phew, that's a relief. Hey there, Tucker. Hey, ladies, what's up? Just wanted to congratulate your team on winning that football game against Desert Hills the other day. Yeah, I loved the way you scored that winning yeah. touchdown. Oh, yeah. That guy they had in defense hardly even saw me coming. It'd be nice if you let some of us have a chance at scoring, though. You snooze, you lose. It's not my fault I was tired. Anyway, wanna come get some drinks in the kitchen with us? I don't know, ladies. I gotta be somewhere soon. Oh, come on. One drink isn't gonna kill you. All right, all right. Let's go. But I'm stopping after one. 
Sup, losers. Cool party. What the hell? What are you doing here? Just thought we'd stop by. Liam bought a few of his buddies over. Yeah, you got a problem with that, 45 cent? Um... Move. How'd you even know this was going on? Told you they lived here! Mary Lynn? Yeah, she told us you guys lived across the hall. They could figure that out themselves, Flake! Shut up! You guys have gotta leave, now. We're welcome to go whenever we want. Oh, but when I show up to parties, I'm invited to. That's not okay. This ain't your party. If your bitch-ass brother says we can stay, we stay. Isn't he his stepbrother? Shut up, Flag! So what's the answer, little dicky? Can we stay? Yeah, it's cool. Just try not to break anything. As I thought. Let's go, guys. Yeah, let's go jump on the bed. What the hell, man? You're letting them stay? Those guys are horrible! They'll ruin your apartment! What was I supposed to do? If I asked them to leave, they were probably gonna trash the place. At least this way, they'll be nice. Yo, pussy. Thanks for the free beer hidden in the bathroom. Ugh, those are for tomorrow. So, it's my angel Roxanne's 17th birthday today. Can you believe that? I know, right? They grow up so fast! I remember when Carl first turned 10, we all went to a water park together, and he pooped his swim shorts on the hurricane vortex. Those rides are such a danger to children anyway. I wish the government was more concerned about those than masks. Roxanne's boyfriend's taking her to this super expensive restaurant and everything. They are such a good couple. Aw, that's so sweet! Bill rarely shows me any affection anymore. That's a shame. Meh. I just burn his clothes every once in a while to let him know I'm upset with him. Linda, there's no sugar left. Oh, sorry, honey. I gave most of it to Logan for his new place. What? But I want to have some of my cornflakes. You could do without that, to be honest. We can buy some more tomorrow, honey. Come on, honey. He's supposed to be making his way on his own. Like that's ever going to happen. What's that supposed to mean? Well... No, no offense, of course, but that boy's not exactly cut out for success, like my Roxanne. Catherine, don't talk about Logan that way! I'm sorry, but look at the facts! He dropped out of high school because he wanted to make rap music! How do you expect this guy to hold down a steady job? She's not wrong, Linda. I saw him in town in the middle of the night singing Apple Bottom Jeans with some older guy. Oh, Kenny! How is he? He's probably going to wind up moving back in about a month. Will you dare talk about my son that way in my own house? Excuse me? Logan may be stupid, obnoxious, lazy, and make terrible music, but he's still one of my kids. So if you two are going to insult him like that, you might as well leave. Linda, don't let him talk to me like that. Um, we could get together for coffee next week instead? Fine, we'll go. Yeah, we know and we're not wanted anyway. Let's go to Joan's house instead. Oh, I hate Joan! Me too, but she's rich! <sighs> Sorry about that, honey. No, it's it's okay, Calvin. I guess you miss Logan more than you thought, huh? It's all just happened so soon. I know we always wanted him to move out, but now that he has, I just feel like I miss him. You could always visit him tomorrow. I'm sure he'd love to show you the place. Yeah, great idea, honey. Sorry about your friends. It's okay. I'm sorry for what they said about Logan. I'm proud of him, as you should be too. I am. So, uh, can I... Alright, you can watch the game now. Yes! <laughs> That's my 60s win tonight! Damn, he's good. Yeah, you barely even got a chance to get back on the stage. That's something in my eye, okay? Yo, who wants to get beaten by me next? Ugh, you get it, man. You're good at the game. What's the matter? But I heard from losing so much? Can someone please just beat this guy already? The game ain't fun no more. I can have a go if you want. <laughs> please, let you know how to play Slash Bros. I've played it at my half-brother's house. You have a half-brother? What, what happened to the, the other, other half? half? Not what that means, boo. Good luck! I even play this game in the bath while my mom watches me! 
I don't know whether to be disappointed or impressed that you even take baths at all. Be careful, Kylie. He's really good. Don't worry, I got this. Can we just start your stupid game already? I haven't got all night, you know. What's the matter? You gotta take your poop pills. All right, let's go. Yo, losers! Thanks for the free snacks! Yeah, we found them in your room! Shut up, Flake! It's obvious that's where we got them! <sighs> you guys aren't funny, you know. Yeah! Do you guys just go around looking for people to be jerks to? What you gonna do about it? Logan's cool with us being here, right? Yeah, it's good. See? Come on, Flake! Let's go see what else they hide in! Yeah! Later I'm gonna go to the bathroom and not even wash my hands! Ew! That's gross, man. Yeah, that's disgusting, Flake! The hell's the matter with you? Yo, sorry. Come on, man, you can't let them treat you like this. Yeah, you gotta stand up for yourself! I can't, they're gonna trash the apartment! Look around, man! They're already trashing the apartment! Relax, it's not that bad. <laughs> That'll do a lot of damage, I suppose. No! What the hell was that? Oh my god, she's actually good. Yeah, yeah way, way better, better than dry bones. Hey! No fear! I wasn't ready! I can always give up if you feel like you might lose. No! Hey! Sup, loser? <laughs> what, you got a problem with that? Whatever, geek. Where's Roxanne? With Tucker? Tucker's here. Yeah, look over there. <laughs> Having a good time, man. I'm gonna be there, okay? We're not meeting till 8. Yo, chill out, man. Yeah, stop being such a simp. Roxanne doesn't like you anyway, you know. Hey, Roxanne. Happy birthday. Cooper, you remembered? Please, I'd never forget your special day. I got you a little something. Oh, thanks. Wow. You like them? They're the kind you like, after all. Yeah, they're lovely, Gooper. So, where's your boyfriend Tucker? Not coming? No, he's blown me off again. Wow, again? Not on your birthday, no less? Yep. I was mad enough when he spent last Valentine's Day in Oceanside for some stupid football game. But this, this really takes the cake. Did you get one of those, by the way? It's a real long walk here from town. I swear, all that guy cares about is himself. His friends always have to come first. I'm nothing but some girl to cheer him on at his sporting events. I'm sorry, Cooper. I've just had it up to here with Tucker. It's okay, Roxanne. That guy's just a selfish jock anyway. You deserve better. Thanks for the present. It's lovely. You're welcome. A girl like you deserves the best. I was an idiot for throwing away what I had with you. Please, don't do this with me now, Gooper. I mean it, Roxanne. Tucker's an idiot. He doesn't realize how special you are. Gooper. <sighs> Get a room, will ya? Tucker. Tucker. Tucker! Ah, my head. <laughs> you got so wasted, man. What happened? You were just dancing around on the table with Ruby and Rain, but you then knocked yourself out after you tried to do a stage dive. Why didn't you catch me? I thought it would be funny. Wait, what the hell time is this? I don't know. 8.45. Why? Oh crap, I'm late for Roxanne! No! Yes! You did it, Kylie! You just beat Gordy at Slash Bros! I never realized you were so good at video games, Kylie. <laughs> Me neither. No! You hated! She did not. She won fair and square. 
Yeah, you're as butthurt you lost. Whatever! And you play to win! I play to have fun! You were the one who insisted we play without items and on flat stages. Screw you guys! I'm never playing again with any of you! Hey, watch out for the stairs! <laughs> uh, ouch! That looks like it kinda hurt. Hey man, you okay? Still hung over about the Roxanne thing, huh? I know, man. Maybe she's having a good enough time without him. Don't worry, Blooper. I'm sure she'll be okay. Damn, I hope she's not too upset. Yo, what you got there, Turbo Nerd? Yeah, it's none of your business, Liam. Oh, it is. You've been texting my sister. <laughs> Listen to this. Hey, Roxanne. Just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. Thanks for being such a good friend. Damn, you make Bill House look like a chick. <laughs> Oh, boo-hoo! Your sister has male friends. I hear your mother's been with other guys besides your father, too. Cool, no! That's for saying crap about my mom! Yeah, leave it to Bob's night! She drives us to Pizza Hut! Shut up, Flake! Leave him alone. That's my stepbrother. Oh, yeah? What are you gonna do? You and your boys gotta leave. You don't have the guts, pussy. Leave. Now! Or what? Uh-oh. Please tell me this thing fires bullets. Huh? You guys got a problem? Oh, is that what I think it is? Yep. The Rapid Fire Bill Blaster 85. That's one of the rarest blasters of them all. How'd you even get that? Yep. Got it from a few buddies of mine. You boys got a problem, or do I gotta use this bad boy? Oh, let's scram, boys! What about Mary Lynn? Screw her! Let's go! Phew, that was a close one. Thank God those jerks are gone! Yeah, thanks, Kenny. No problem. So, who wants waffles? I made a few earlier. <laughs> Roxanne! Roxanne, you there? Roxanne, open the door! Will you shut up? Some people are trying to sleep! <laughs> Dad? Hey, son. How's it going? Pretty good, yeah. So you found the place, huh? Yeah, Carl gave me the address. Excluding the dead body at the bottom of the stairs seems pretty solid. Thanks! Glad you think so! No problem. I know I don't say this as much as I should, but you've done a good job, son. Thanks, Dad. Anytime, Logan. So, may I come in? Sure! Mind if I put on some little baby? I will listen to literally anything else with you. Ah, uh, how sweet! Shut up, Sherry Lynn! I thought I told you to make breakfast! It's not my turn! Yeah, it is! Uh, can you guys shut up? Your voices are giving me a headache. <laughs>